Hi, this is Kelly Ford with Microsoft. Today I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine using Azure and a screen reader. For this demo, I will use Narrator, the free screen reader that comes with Windows, but these steps will be similar for most screen readers. In the Azure portal with Narrator enabled, I can use the tab key to move through the controls on the page until I reach a link titled Create a Resource. When this link has focus, I can activate it by pressing the Enter key. Create a research services. The Create a Resource page will be loaded. I can navigate to a list of categories by pressing Shift plus Tab. I want to do this with Scan Mode Off. List of categories. Recently created AI plus machine. Now I will arrow down to the Compute category. Analytic, Blockchain, Compute, 7 of 23 and activate it by pressing the Enter key. Now I'm going to tab to the Virtual Machine field. Search services, link, try our quick start, link, see more offers, link, virtual machine. When I hear virtual machine, I can press tab once again. Link, create. And from the create link, I can press enter to start the process. Content is loading. Basics tab panel, link. First up is the basics tab. With scan mode off, I can use the left and right arrow keys to switch to other tabs. I can then use the tab key to navigate to the form controls in each one. Basics tab panel, link. I can choose my subscription plan from the subscription combo box. Subscription, Visual Studio. I'm going to skip a few fields and go to the region combo box to pick where my virtual machine should be located. Create new or use existing resource group. New. Resource group. Create new. Virtual machine name. Edit. Virtual machines in Azure have two distinct names. Virtual machine name use. Region. U.S. East U.S. I can also select an image to associate with my machine. Azure offers a range of options for security type. Image. Windows 11 Pro. Gen 2. Combo. And press enter to confirm my choice. See all images. Configure VM generation. Azure Spot Instance. Now I'm going to review the size options for my virtual machine and the costs of each option. Size, standard underscore D4S underscore V3, 4 V plus, 16 gig memory, $140.16 slash month. Combo box, collapsed, required, has pop-up. List of options tree, standard underscore D4S underscore. So I've hit down arrow to start moving through this tree. Standard underscore DS2, 2 V plus, 7 gig memory, $112.42 slash month. 2 of 9 level 1, non-selected. Moving on, I can set a username and password and choose the ports. Username, edit, Kelly. Password, confirm password, public inbound ports radio group, required, allow selected ports, radio button, selected, to. Finally, I'll review and create the machine. Select inbound, I confirm, link, review, mo review plus create, button. Later, when I finish filling out all the required fields, I can activate the review plus create button. Azure will make sure that I haven't made any invalid selections and then start the creation process. If I want to go through the other tabs to set additional specifications for my virtual machine, next desk set button, I can tab to the next button and activate it, which will take me to the disk tab. Once there, I can use shift plus tab to go backward in reading order and navigate through the relevant fields. Hopefully this gives you a few more details on what you need to do in order to create a virtual machine using Azure and a screen reader. Thank you for watching.